Matt McDonald, Shalom. Shalom. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. And more important, welcome to Israel. Thanks a lot. Matt, you are here uh, to evaluate uh, Israeli talents for your uh, highly uh, reputed and important uh, endeavor back uh, in the Big Apple. Yes. And this is part of Tune in Tel Aviv, which is part of the Jerusalem Music Conference. So, what are your thoughts? So far, it's been uh, really great. I think the organizers have done a great job of making sure everything's running on time, putting enough artists in the mix, but not too many, um, and kind of providing a pretty good array of sort of every, every kind of style that's being performed in Israel these days, and you know, selecting some of the best ones for you know, a lot of us international delegates to take a listen to, watch perform, and hopefully you know, invite to, to our respective events. I mean, I don't think every single artist is right for every single person, but there's enough variety in there that I think everybody's found some things. that he or she has really liked. As an expert to music, to world music, how would you evaluate the music scene in Israel? Uh, Were you surprised? Um, I don't know if I was surprised, because um, I've been working with some Israeli artists for the last maybe three or four years, um, so I already knew the quality was there. Um, but it's good to see sort of what the community and the scene is like. Um, it seems like it's very supportive. Um, A lot of musicians playing in different projects, um, and the quality of musicianship is very high. I mean, people know how to play their instruments, which you don't see everywhere. Yeah. Uh, I'm always interested, since you, uh, music is a universal language enjoyed by millions, yeah. billions, uh, I'm always interested in the uniqueness of the music of a certain place. Can you, after listening to, I don't know how many by now, Israeli musicians, can you detect something that is Israeli in their music? Mm, you know, I mean, I think it's easier to detect that for the more traditional things, where, you know, there's um, a clarinet in the mix. Klezmer. Yeah. Klezmer yeah. music. But, but it's not all klezmer, it's just some of those sort of elements that are derived from that. I mean, I think, I think what distinguishes any sort of standout act is something unique. It doesn't necessarily have to derive from, you know, an Israeli place, but they're doing something that's, that's somehow unique. Um, and, you know, I think for some bands, that's, that is maybe some more traditional elements from, from Israeli music. And for other ones, it's just, you know, putting a weird spin on a rock riff or something that... You know, it could be a Japanese band, but it's unique and it's, you know, it's, it catches your ear. And everybody sings in English today. And everybody sings in English, yeah. <laughs> uh, from the perspective of the musicians, they are here in order to make it abroad. When you think about it, what are their chances? Um, I mean, the chances... I think, again, it's a case-by-case -case basis. Um, I think some of them could have a lot of success in sort of a more performing arts center world. Um, and that's, that tends to be the case for sort of the bigger, you know, the, the eight and 12 piece bands that are more involved in the traditional kind of Israeli music world. I think for some of the, you know, more rock bands, uh, pop bands, singer-songwriters, um, I think there's a good chance because the music's good and You know, for an event like mine, that's what people, the audience is more interested in that, so I can see them working really well. And if I was pressuring, pressuring you, which I'm not, <laughs> uh, what would be the most important advice that you would give these musicians? The most important advice is uh, keep practicing and keep working on your music. And, uh, you know, great music has a way of finding, you know, an audience. So that's the most important thing. Keep practicing and keep, keep writing. Matt McDonald, we wish you and CMJ all the best. Thanks a lot. Thank you for coming and come again. Toda. Toda, shalom.